Much of what we do in this unit is solving triangles, which means that when we have a right triangle, we need to find all the sides and angles. So in this case here, we have been given two sides and a right, right angle here, and we need to find the third side and the two angles. So I'm going to first start off with the side x, because since we have two sides of the right triangle, we can find the third side using Pythagoras. And we know that the area off the hypotenuse is the longest side the biggest area, square area, so we should add the other two areas from this side and this side. So we end up adding 63 squared plus 16 squared, and those two squares add up to the big square from the side, longest side x. So x squared is going to be equal to 3969 plus 16 squared is 256. When we add those together, we get 4,225. 4, Square rooting that, we end up with exactly 65. It's going to be plus minus 65. Since it's a length, we're only going to use 65. So x ends up being 65. So if I want to now find the angle, I know what the shape of this is with the side length. So I want to convert that shape from side lengths or ratios to angle form. That means I need to use my calculator. And since I know it's, I have to go to the angle, I need to use the inverse function. So I'm going to use tan in this case. I'm going to say that tan of angle A is equal to rise over run. Okay, so then... To actually find the angle, we need to use the inverse tan function. So ratio to angle is inverse tan. So I need to then use my calculator, 63 divided by 16. Okay, it gives us an angle of 75.749, so I'm going to round that to 75 degrees. So if this angle here is 75.75 degrees, we know that angle B is supplementary, sorry, complementary, which means they add up to 90 degrees. So if I do 90 degrees minus 75.75, I get 14.25 degrees. Okay, so angle B, I'm going to write it down here. Angle B is equal to 90 degrees minus angle A. Okay, and that's always the case because they are supplementary to each other. So now I fall solved the unknown side and two unknown angles. So I'm finished solving this triangle. So this is the same type of problem. Here, I've been given an angle and a side, and I have to figure out the other angle and two more sides. So I'm going to start off with the angle again because we know that these are supplementary. I know that angle A, sorry, I keep on using the wrong word. These two angles are complementary, which means they add up to 90 degrees. So to find angle A, I take my 90 degrees and I subtract my 17 degrees. So I end up with 73 degrees for angle A. Okay, so didn't have to do any use my calculator or anything. I'm just adding up to 90. Okay, so once I have the angle, I need to get the shape with the side lengths, but I only have one side length. That means then I'm going to have to involve, I'm going to have to go to my calculator to convert this angle of 17 degrees into a ratio. And I'm going to use the opposite and adjacent side. Okay, so opposite adjacent is TOA, so tan. So I know that tan of 17 degrees is equal to the opposite over adjacent or slope which is x over 24. So if I want to solve for x I need a I need to convert that 17 degrees the tan of 17 into a decimal. So I get 0 0.3057 so I'm going to round that to 0 0.306 to 1. That's the same as rise over run which is x to 24. I can solve this by multiplying by 0 0.306 from bottom to top, or I can just cross multiply this and solve it algebraically. 
So I end up with an x length of 7.337, so I'm going to round that to 4. Okay, and again, if you're off by a little bit from rounding, no big deal. Okay, as long as you're somewhere around 7 point, you know, low 7s, that's pretty good. So I've solved for x. This is 7.34. I can solve for the length of y using Pythagoras, or I can use another trig ratio. Uh, I think maybe I'll just use a trig ratio to solve for y. So I'm going to involve the adjacent and hypotenuse. So adjacent hypotenuse is ka. So I'm going to use cosine. Adjacent over hypotenuse, which is adjacent side is 24 and the hypotenuse is y. So I need to convert that cosine, the 17, into a cosine ratio. So cosine of 17 degrees is 0.9563 and that's always to 1. And so the adjacent is 95% the length of the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse should just be a little bit bigger than 24. So algebraically solving this, I'm going to cross multiply this. So I get times both sides by y. Divide both sides by 0.95. So 24 divided by 0.956. Okay, and I'm going to get 25.096. So I'm going to round that to 1, 0. Okay, so the length of that side is 25.10. Again, it, you may have a little bit of discrepancy based on the rounding, but as long as you're near 25, you've done the right calculation.